If you guys would like cheap FIFA 16 Ultimate Team coins or PlayStation and Xbox codes, check out IG Vault, link in the description. Of course, do not forget to use the discount code in the description for 5% off. Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 27 of my Manchester United FIFA 16 Career Mode series. Today, this episode is going to be focused heavily on transfers in this pre-season also finishing off uh, the pre-season tournament. Uh, we'll see if we can win it, even though we're only simulating it, as yes, the transfers are going to be heavily focused on. So central midfield is one position I want to invest in, a really good player. So Marco Verratti, his development in the first season was amazing. He's up to 87 overall now, world-class player in the second season. First season, not quite there. He starts at the 84, 85, doesn't he? I think 85, but yeah, 87 now. Clearly world class. But here, Man City have interest in Lacazette, but he's not someone I really want to let go on the cheap. But you know, every player has his price. But there, Atletico Madrid made a 51 million bid for Verratti, who we just put in a bid for. I'm not sure, 51 million. I don't want to spend that kind of budget on or that kind of amount from our budget on one player. I don't want to do that. I want to sign multiple players. I need that rotation system going this season because that's what I felt let us down in the previous season. Also, offer came in for Ashley Young that we accepted, 12 million, and you can see the difference. And here's another I'm not really going to listen to an offer. There's a few players I really don't want to consider listening to, like Anthony Martial is one of those, uh, Memphis Depay, De Gea, those kinds of players are players I want to keep for the duration of this career mode, unless they want to leave themselves on the occasions where you have no control over it, like the morale is bad and they want to go home or that kind of situation. But here, PSG, we were able to beat them 2-1 with Ibra scoring against his old team. Pretty much the difference at the end of the day. So that makes sure uh, we will be getting into the knockout stage as well, into the semi final uh, of the preseason competition. And yeah, I do want to go as far. That would be nice. But we've got a big budget already. So I'm not concerned about uh, winning it for the money. If we win games, cool. It's more games uh, for our players to get experience for the upcoming season. Uh, here we get one good lad from Brazil, uh, Marcio Souza, 16. Don't want to be leaving him in the U squad too long. He might decide to leave <laughs> like a couple others did. But I'm kind of getting used to how it is in career mode in FIFA 16 now. Basically, it, once they turn 17, if they're good enough, they've got high potential and it's not lowering too much when it evens itself out. Uh, yeah, when it shortens down after a few months. Yeah, if it's still really good, their overall's good, I'll sign them up when they're 17. But if they're not that impressive, I'll just leave it play out um, as it will. Just keep in the youth squad and we'll see if they develop better and just see how it goes. And also, Felipe Anderson, I put, yeah, 50 million counter offer. Uh, you can see the difference with him or someone like Ashley Young where I do have interest in selling. Those types, I just put a really high counter offer for the strange reason it may be accepted. I'll be able to replace him with someone killer. But Azevedo, Yanazai, Gibbons, Shaw, even Martial with C rating. That was a pretty successful training session, wasn't that? Regan Poole as well. A lot of you guys, well, some of you guys have said to still train him, but don't forget he's only 18. I think one more season out on loan and next season uh, we can give him some game time in cups because you've got to develop him right at the same time. Lacazette, see, just to counter off a 95 million because I don't want to sell him. But again, for whatever reason, if it does get accepted, uh, I could get Ronaldo then. Neymar, just, yeah, someone crazy, but, yeah, if I do have that kind of money, that's, Ronaldo would be the first big, world-class, top five player in the world, uh, kind of player you go for, like, Bale, Neymar as well, is obviously in calculations, uh, but, yeah, if that ever happens, I'll be looking for Ronaldo, if you sell a guy on a really, yeah, big fee, and the offer for Ashley Young was accepted, uh, that we counted 12 million, so that's yeah when I do counter properly, when I do actually want to sell the player and get a decent fee above his value. But we're able to push on against Atletico Madrid, 3-1 uh, victory. It's been a solid preseason so far. Also, Paddy McNair, the other English centre-back, I could have almost gave him a chance this season, but we do have four pretty strong centre-backs, so it will be hard for him. We've got enough rotation options. 
So I feel another loan spell and he's another guy, along with Regan Poole. I reckon in the third season, they can get a bit more game time. Maybe someone like Phil Jones I'll end up selling if he doesn't end up developing a bit more into a really key player uh, to be as good as someone uh, like Marquinhos and Laporte. And I feel Smalling's a bit better as a defender in the game. Uh, very strong defensive attributes. Uh, but leave your thoughts on that situation as well. So here we'll put a 10 million bid for the Shilio, which I think is a bargain if that does get accepted. Uh, but now we're looking at other central midfielders or defensive midfielders as Verratti will end up going to Atletico Madrid for that 51 million. Uh, Gareth Bale as well and others that suggested, but they just end up being too much. Like Bale, Ronaldo, those types, you have to sign and Bale might be 60 million and that just would be almost all of our budgets. And we won't have room to sign a lot of these backups in defensive midfield, uh, fullback as well, and maybe another fullback as well. Uh, like, I think we need another one. Along with the Shilio, we need to sign two fullbacks because we don't have anyone else that's natural in that position. We just got the two starting guys in Luke Shaw and Damian. So, yeah, after the Shilio, you saw offer was accepted. Uh, I'll show you that. But, yeah, I think we need to get another guy because, say, we get a big injury to one of them. And then, yeah, of course, DeShilio would come in. Of course, if he does sign, uh, 10 million accepted. I was pretty happy with that. Lower than the chief executive's uh, minimum um, suggested offer was 10.6, wasn't it? So I was pretty happy that that got accepted. So the first offer we're going to put in, um, yeah, 60,000. Some people said this year you don't really have to give them what they want. I'm still giving him 10K more than he has at AC Milan and squad rotation uh, because you don't want to put him, yeah, crucial first team player and, yeah, don't start him because of the other players in the team, Luke Shaw uh, in his position and Darmian as we, yeah, smash him 5-0 there. So, Ju Juventus, uh, we're playing against Juventus in the final. Hopefully, we'll win it. Again, extra money. You can't complain with that. And again, like I said previously, Memphis, we're never going to be listening to offers for him. Just, yeah, you need Memphis. Like, it will, it will, it will seem a bit unrealistic because in real life, he's like one of the stars. Like, he's an upcoming star for Manchester United. Unfortunately, uh, Laporte is going to be missing the final uh, with a suspension. But again, it gives a chance for someone like Smalling uh, to step up and hopefully put in a good performance coming into the season. Yanazai has been doing really, really well in training as a Vado and especially Martial as well. He's developing on those key attributes while well, we're focusing on those key attributes uh, for a striker. Shot power, finishing, and the attacking positioning. Um, they're pretty good already, but I want to get it to a higher level. And you would have seen uh, just before now uh, that I did do another scout a future star. So hopefully we'll be able to get someone else like Azevedo. And yeah, this time next season, we'll have like someone else, uh, like another youth player in the first team. And we were able to get the victory against Juve. Uh, Lacazette, he's obviously stepping up. Uh, he improved in the second half of last season. He showed more signs. Obviously, that's why there's interest from other teams. So there's more scout reports uh, coming back from those guys I showed you on the short list. There's a lot of good talent. There's a, there's a lot of good talented center midfielders in there. Uh, Johannes Guys is someone that really interests me, though. He's a good age, 22, and already first-team quality. So he ended up offering, I think... Yeah, the 80K. Yeah. DeShilio wanted 80K. He didn't accept the 60. But that's worked for me on previous occasions. I've got a private career mode I'm playing as well. But uh, yeah, just I've been experimenting with career modes. Sometimes you'll get it a bit lower than they want. Sometimes you won't. Uh, but either way, uh, hopefully, yeah, he does accept this offer. But I do want to have the role of a squad rotation for him uh, because he will be starting as a bench player. Uh, De Gea picks up an injury and fa thankfully it's only seven days. If it was any longer than that, yeah, he'll be probably missing the start of the season and yeah, not being fit enough, uh, which is crucial. And that's another position I want. Like I'm trying to get rid of Romero and obviously Johnston, maybe like you say, he's not good enough for a backer, but De Gea played every single game last season, but maybe I should sign a young guy with potential, maybe 17, 18, 19 years of age and give him a go in a cup. That's why I didn't play Romero last season in the cup because he wasn't a guy I could see in the future and De Gea as well. Another one of those players I'd never want to sell. Lacazette is because, well, not that I want to sell him. I could consider if it's a good offer because we signed him. So kind of making profit is on my mind there. If I could sell him a bit more, uh, quite a bit more than we signed him for, it will be a good deal. And look at that. For five-star judgment, uh, 2.3 million, like 2 million. That's 
such a bargain compared to previous years. Obviously, EA listened to people saying, yeah, maybe lower uh, the prices um, of the scouts will be very handy for a Road to Glory series if you could uh, nab a five-star judgment scout and yeah, be getting a few yeah high potential, like in the high 80s, uh, maybe even low 90s potential. So we're scouting Spain uh, Brazil and England now, so we should be getting uh, some good talent. So, so yeah, scouting those countries and with five star judgment scouts, very a very good possibility of getting good talent. So here, Bayern Munich have some great players up for grabs on pre contract in the second season. For those of you guys that don't know, this could be breaking news. <laughs> but yeah, Javi Martinez, Frank Ribery, and he's not the only one. And I could he's thirty three, so you got about think about his age as well, but the same boat as kind of Ibra this season, and I still went for him. But Arjen Robben, he's a year younger, and he's still 91 overall. He's better uh, than Ribéry. Ribéry's 86 overall. Robben, you look at how much they'll want. He's value 41 million, but look, in between 24 and about uh, just under 32 million. So I'm going to put an offer in here, and I'm going to offer Sergio Romero with him. Could be realistic. Maybe Bayern Munich need a backup. Uh, we'll see. Obviously, I know that deal's not going to get accepted, but maybe it will start a kind of negotiations. I know that will not get accepted for sure because uh, it's below what they want. But again, it could yeah, make way for negotiating. So we do finalize a signing in this episode and maybe an expected signing, at least in the position. Uh, he's probably the best option as a guy that can play left back and right back. And the funny thing with Mattia... Uh, De Chilio is, he's a left back by his natural position, but he's actually right footed, but four star weak foot as well, strong attributes there, he's quick, uh, but I like his skill attributes, I love fullbacks that are attacking, but then they got the curve, crossing, uh, ball control, so they're good going forward, and still being a very good tackler, he's so well rounded isn't he, and see that, he's right footed, uh, but he's first position is left back, but he's probably equally as good, if not better at right back. What do you think? Do you think he's a better right back because he's right footed? I don't really know, but he's probably equal on both because four star weak foot as well. Uh, won't make too much of a difference. And Lacazette will be playing out on the right a lot. So can uh, it can allow uh, Ibra to be playing striker and Memphis on the left. That looks really dangerous. So drop a like if you'd like to see next episode and I'll see you guys in the next one.